Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for tuning in. And so we've got our next installment of Connecting with Your Inner Feminine. Yeah? So please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this, just like all readings, are timeless. Yeah? So whenever this res whenever you find this message and it resonates for you, that is the message for you at that time. So keeping up with the series here, the intention for this reading is to help you get closer to, closer in tune with your inner feminine energies. Yes? So, with that said, yes, you may be able to get an, uh, uh, some information or some insight as to what could be going on with a physical external, external counterpart of the feminine nature, whether they are man or woman. But the true intention here is to help you see what's going on on your inner reality. Yes, so please keep in mind, as I said, this is a general reading. I'm reading for a lot of people. Yeah, big old collective. So, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But if you would like a look at your personal situation in terms of your inner feminine energies, please go ahead and email me, all right? I don't have this reading officially listed in the description box with all the other readings, but it is available as a private option. Just email me. My email address is in the description box below, and we'll get it all sorted out, yeah? Okay, um... That's really all I wanted to say, starting starting in, getting started. So with that, let's get to it, shall we? All right. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved in terms of the reality of our inner feminine energies. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, so before we get started, um, I wanna say that I, I have developed this visualization, visualization method of envisioning the feminine energies as pink, like a, a, a nice bright pink, and the masculine energy is as a blue energy, nice, a nice bright, maybe even an electric blue. That might seem stereotypical, it might seem cliche, but it, I mean, it's how we have been programmed to connect with or identify with masculine and feminine energy, so I'm just going with, with what we have here, not trying to really reinvent the wheel. Now, with that mind, or with that in mind, understand that we do have both masculine and feminine energies within, and you do not have to be a woman to resonate with the feminine energies. You could be a more uh, femininely oriented individual, but still be a man, okay? Um, but as I was you know, channeling before I got started here, um, I was envisioning the pink and the blue in like the yin yang um, formation, right? The feminine energy is really bright, really shining, really on point with it is what I'm hearing. Um, really letting his or her light shine, being them, their authentic selves, or at least working on being more of an authentic depiction of themselves if they haven't quite achieved much of that yet. Um, it's definitely on the forefront of the feminine's mind, being it, being who you truly are, getting down to who you truly are. The masculine energy, unfortunately, is quite muted, at least from what I'm seeing so far. And I can't quite tell if that's like my own inner masculine, being that I'm more of a feminine individual, um, even though I'm a man. But collective, I think, oh, no, really, yeah. Collectively speaking, there's a bit of darkness around the masculine, but that is actually a good thing. We'll get into that more in the masculine reading, but for the feminines so far, you're really quite bright, uh, off, quite authentic is what I heard. Authenticity is the name of the game for the feminine. Always has been, always will be is what I just heard, all right? So with this deck, I have a number of tarot decks here um, that I'm gonna be using for this reading. As usual, this is the uh, uh, So Below deck of the uh, Book of Shadows Tarot, which is a two-part um, 
system. One deck as above, the other deck so below. I'm here using so below. Um, it's very witchcraft oriented, very feminine oriented, which I think is beautiful. With this deck, we're going to be looking at what is currently surrounding the, fem the, the, the feminine, your inner feminine energy. What is the current energetic state of your inner feminine? I'm gonna give this five shuffles. What is the current energetic state of your inner feminine? She feels good. She kind of feels like, this is number three, she kind of feels on top of the world even though there is a good amount of sorrow right now. Maybe even disappointment, but is this three? We're gonna say this is three. Um, even though there still is, a, 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 for a lot of us, there is still a great deal of disappointment She's pushing through. She's persevering. She's not really trying to let that get her down. All right. Four. So what is the current surrounding energies for your inner feminine? I totally don't know if I missed count. This is either six or five, but I'm going to call it. <laughs> I'm going to call it five. Okay. And five for your current inner, your the current energies for your inner feminine here. What is the current energetic state of your inner feminine? Let's see. Let's see here. What is the current energetic state? Oh, my deck is upside down. We're gonna keep going. Okay. My deck is upside down. My deck is upside down. What's the current? Wow, that's a lot. Woo wee! That sure is. All right, we're gonna stop there. Overall energy is the nine of cups. You see, I told you. Satisfaction. Your inner feminine, the divine feminine, I wanted to just say, is very much concerned with satisfaction, whether it is she's feeling satisfaction right now or she's seeking it out, she's searching for it. I do feel like with the overall energy here, your current energies for your inner feminine, for the divine feminine, we could call this divine feminine collective, um, feeling happy, feeling satisfied, feeling joy, contentment for life, for herself or whatnot, whatever, is the forefront of her focus. Above all else, regardless of, and see this is what I was saying, regardless of the circumstances surrounding her physically right now in her three-dimensional reality or even in her inner reality, um, well, we're talk. We're we're really kind of trying to talk about the inner the inner feminine here. So regardless of her inner reality, the circumstances surrounding her inner reality, she is focused on feeling good about herself and good about her life, her existence, whatever. Now there could be some a good amount of emotional turmoil. We do see that here. Actually, this is a lot of cards, but we do see that here with the five of cups. All right. Let's see what else is here. Three of Cups, the Magician, Six of Cups. Okay. Um, six of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Excellent. The Hermit. Oh, yes. And the Two of Swords. <laughs> that is so funny. I'm only laughing because it's like so incredibly true. <laughs> as, a, as me personally, as a more femininely oriented individual, that Hermit card couldn't be any more well, well placed. But this is the emotional turmoil, the emotional unrests that the that your inner feminine is facing right now but it doesn't matter because instead of getting down okay and staying down your inner feminine is like nah fuck that shit i'm gonna rise above i'm gonna focus rise above six of wands i'm gonna focus on balancing Ooh, my karma, six of pentacles, balance between give and take. Um, your inner feminine may be very focused right now on who or what she gives her energy to, which is why a good reason as to why she is in this hermit energy here, okay, with the two of swords. This is, this to me, the hermit with the two of swords, this is like, when, like, when you have a computer program and it's loading, 
or or it's like it's it's processing and you know you have you have the progress bar that's showing how far along it's come well this is your inner feminine kind of taking some time away desiring to be reclusive desiring to be on her own to kind of enjoy i heard enjoy a bit of a hermit moment enjoy some self pampering enjoy some self care but this is not just for the sake of feeling good or feeling you know pampering yourself whatnot whatever this there is an a means to an end here even though self care is a beautiful thing it's always something that you want to make sure that you can put some time aside for but here there is a means to an end in this self-care and that is coming to a greater understanding that is overcoming the sorrow the disappointment the regret the shame the guilt what not whatever that she may be processing right now we have the six of swords three of cups and the eight and the magician Okay, so this is your inner feminine desiring and working towards leaving the past behind her. All right, uh, wait, yeah, this is the Six of Swords. Literally following her joy out of the pain, the sorrow, and the darkness into the bright, happy, beautiful, loving, joyful energy that she desires to really stay in. Stay in. Okay, we have that with the Three of Cups and the Magician. Your inner feminine is really working very, very hard right now on manifesting a sense of inner peace and inner union. So now if you are someone that is more masculinely oriented, then this is most likely what your inner feminine is influencing for you. Okay. All right. I like that. That's not that's not bad at all, you guys. So now, excuse me, I'm going to cough. <clears throat> so now let's look into the current challenges that your inner feminine is facing. For that, I'm going to be using the Wild Unknown Tarot. And I'm going to give this five shuffles. One. The challenges that your inner feminine is facing. Two. What challenges is your inner fem feminine facing for? For the feminine collective, for the divine feminine energies, what challenges do your inner feminine is your inner feminine facing right now? At this current moment. At this at the time that this reading is coming through, at the time that this reading is meant to resonate for whomever what is what are the current challenges that your inner feminine is facing Ooh, wee! do you see that stack of cards good lord guma just fainted she's like honey i can't believe it that's so much you damn right that's so much <laughs> overall energy we have the knight of cups Okay. Heart chakra awakening, heart chakra cleansing, heart chakra opening. Uh, opening. Okay, good golly, that's a lot. Spirit is saying take them, so I'm going to take them. We have judgment. Judgment is, oh my goodness, judgment is on top of this massive stack of cards right under, holy shit, right under that is the lovers, right under that is the star, right under that is the two of cups, right under that is justice. <laughs> we then have the daughter or the page of swords, wow, the high priestess, the knight of wands now, the, the, the knight of swords, the ace of swords, the, the seven of wands, the three of cups again, the four of pentacles, the two of swords again. Okay, bear with me here guys. I'm gonna put this off to the side. And we're going to talk about this first. What is the challenge that the inner feminine is facing? Well, judgment, the lovers, two of cups, the star, and justice. Your inner feminine is hearing, is feeling the call towards union. She's challenged with this union. 
both internally and externally, it's looking like. The challenge, though, is to bring this union into realization, into manifested form. Um, I do want to say that it is a bit of a tall order, and I do want to say that it's not necessarily all the feminine's um, responsibility. Like the feminine is not, in no way, is meant to or is meant to be or is required to be doing all the work to bring this union into physical form. Or, I don't know, union, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, whatever. It's, there's fucking labels anyway. But, uh, however, she is leading the charge here. The feminine energies are in, not in control, that's not quite the right word for it, but she is leading the way, all right? So your inner feminine, the challenge for your inner feminine right now is to bring this dream into fruition. It's what she is, it feels like that's what she's working towards. That's what she's influencing you towards. So again, if you are the masculine or you are a masculine dominant individual and you are watching this to help you connect with your inner feminine, this, all of this influence right now, this hermit mode here, overcoming challenges, facing the turmoil, um, but manifesting a sense of union, facing the turmoil so that you can leave the past behind you. This is all what your inner feminine is influencing through the challenge that's in front of her. Now, here's the other thing. You have the seven of wands, the four of pentacles. Good golly, this is a lot. I have to, I, give me a second, guys. I have to, I got to focus here. You have the seven of wands and you have the, uh, the, the four of pentacles. Okay. Um, there's still a good amount of guardedness here. That's part of the defense mechanism I'm hearing, that the, that the inner feminine or the divine feminine, your inner feminine, whatnot, whatever, however you want to label it, has developed for her spell, herself. Over, you know, the past few centuries I'm hearing, but also within this lifetime, throughout this journey, there have been a lot of things that have caused her to, yeah, sure, set boundaries, but it feels like for some, you went from having really loose to no boundaries whatsoever to having extreme boundaries And it's, there's needing, you're needing to find a balance here, okay? That's a bit of a challenge for your inner feminine here. Now, three of cups, again, is union, is inner union, is celebration. You know, I'm getting a sense of um, a big challenge, a big challenge for your inner feminine right now is uh, the joy <laughs> surrounding this union. There's a bittersweet aspect to it. That's for sure. You have the high priestess here. Um, the feminine is needing to stay in her wisdom, in her power. That's kind of a challenge for her here. Ace of Swords, though. All right, with that, it's like part of the challenge that your inner feminine is facing right now is trusting her intuition, trusting the universe. Trusting that she actually does have the answers. She do, well, not all of them, but she knows exactly what's going on here. <laughs> and it's interesting because now the masculine is coming through here for the feminine. Because a part of the feminine's challenge right now is she knows that the masculine wants to reach out to her in some way. Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, and yet... He's indecisive about it. Two of swords. And he's probably kind of stalking her. Page of swords. And the feminine is probably pretty aware of this. Whether it's energetic stalking or like physical. Somehow, some way, the feminine is aware of this. And it's, it's a struggle for her. Because she would like to communicate also. But she knows she can't. She knows she needs to give the masculine the opportunity to reach out when he's ready especially in terms of circumstances in which people have been blocked or communication went really sour or things really did not end very well the last time 
you two were in communication with each other, I guess. The biggest struggle for your inner feminine right now is knowing all of this. The Three of Cups wanted to come out too, but the Ace of Cups, I'm sorry, the Ace of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Three of Cups. The biggest challenge for the inner feminine, feminine is knowing that maybe a union is right around the corner, a physical union is right around the corner, um, knowing the truth about the situation, knowing exactly what's probably going on around her, knowing I'll most likely knowing about the third party individual situations that are involved here, which m could be an another romantic partner, but also could be friends and family. I mean, she's aware of all of this. So that is a bit of a challenge for her, that's for sure. Wow. All right. So with that said, the next thing we're going to look at here is what your inner feminine wants you to know. We're only giving this three shuffles. Okay, three shuffles. What does your inner feminine want you to know? Three of Cups, union is close, is what I just heard. That just caught my attention. What does your inner feminine want you to know? Let's see here. What does the inner feminine have to say? What does your inner feminine want you to know? There's the hermit again. Overall energy of the sun. Oh, we have the hermit, we have the emperor, we have the chariot, we have the, wow, the hanged man, and we have the seven of pentacles. What does your inner feminine want to know, want you to know? Well, first of all, to the masculines out there, the inner feminine wants you to know that you have got to, you've got to connect with your inner guidance. You have got to connect with your inner guidance. <clears throat> your, the, the feminine has been working very, very hard on this change in perspective. This is something uh, about three weeks ago, I did the first of this series of your looking in, uh, connecting with your inner feminine and inner masculine. And for, for the, in the very first reading for the feminine energy, the, the hanged man came up about... I think in three out of the four decks that I used. So this is still an on, uh, central ongoing theme for the feminine energies right now. But she's working very hard at it. And it looks like she's, be, she's become very, she's come, become very successful with it. All right. She has been going within to find her inner masculine, to connect with her inner masculine. Okay. She has been going within and taking her power back with the emperor energy and getting herself in line with what it is she truly, truly desires with the chariot energy here because she's learned a great deal. Seven of Pentacles. She's learned a lot through the contrast that she's experienced recently in all of this shit we've been going through, right? Also, the sun is saying, this is, well, okay. You, the, the feminine or your inner feminine is saying that it is, this is giving the masculine the green light to move forward. She's ready to do this. She's changed her perspective, or she at least she's working on changing her perspective. And so far, the level that she's gotten to is sufficient enough to sustain some sort of communication, some sort of fresh start beginning. I mean, this is major arcana, except all except for the Seven of Pentacles. You have the sun, the hermit, the, the emperor, the hanged man, the chariot. That's all major arcana. These are all really, really good cards, too. 
I'm hearing and feeling she's ready for the masculine or her masculine to come forward. She's ready to, um, she's really been working with her inner masculine. She's really been working on getting ready to accept, communicate, integrate with the inner masculine. I really feel like with this hermit energy, not hermit, the hang, well, yes, okay. Between the hermit and the hanged man, she's really, she's really done very well at changing her perspective in terms of, I want to say this situation. What is this situation though? I don't know. Take it as it resonates for you. I mean, we could be talking twin flames here, but also we don't have to be. All right, everybody's got inner and masculine and feminine energies. Everyone would benefit from balancing those two. So even if you're not on a twin flame journey and you're still watching these and resonating with them, excellent. Keep on with it, okay? So that's what the inner feminine wants you to know. She's ready to move forward. Um, give me a second. I'm just looking at the cards here to see. Okay. Oh, the hermit. Right, the hermit. The hermit. I was. I. I was like. I know we have a a, a, a recurring card. It was the hermit. Also. The feminine is also saying here that she might still be in this reclusive energy, but it's okay. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. So maybe if you are an individual that is in communication with like a counterpart with, you know, an external version of your feminine and she's kind of gone, she's pulled away from you a little bit, it's okay because she's just processing, okay? She's just processing. Okay, so action steps. Action steps that you can take to connect with, to further connect with your inner feminine energies. I'm giving us five shuffles. Action steps that you can take. What action steps can we take, inner feminine? to connect with you on a deeper, stronger level, on a more intimate level. That was three action steps that we can take, four, and five. All right, so action steps that we can take to connect to further connect with our inner feminine energies. Action steps to further connect with your inner feminine energies. I'm going to start that over. I got a little bit distracted there. Stay focused, Eric. Stay focused. Action steps that you can take to connect with your inner feminine energies. Action steps that you can take Connect. There we go. Five coins. No, I'm sorry. Four coins. Ooh, okay. Ten of cups. Wow. More. <laughs> There's the knight of wands, too. Yeah, let's get some more. Let's get a little bit more here. Action steps that you can take to connect with your inner feminine energies more. Seven of cups. Okay, 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 I understand. That's enough. All right, um, so overall energy is the six of wands. Success. Here's the six of wands yet again. We had it in the first. And now we have it in the second, not in the second. What am I talking about? Now we have it in the action steps here. So what this is saying is that victory can and will be in achieved. In fact, if you let go 
of the past, if you let go of physical circumstances, if you let go of whatever it is you've been holding on to that's been holding you back and slowly but surely start releasing, start picking through the emotions. Seven of Cups. For masculines out there, yes, this is going to be pretty difficult. But if you want to connect with your inner feminine, you have to get down with your emotions. There is no other way around it. So masculines or whomever that wants to further connect with their inner feminine energies, in order for you to do that at this time, you have to let go. You have to stop being so closed off and start facing your emotions. You don't have to rush this. Slowly but surely, you can do this. This is not something you need to rush. It's not something she even wants you to rush. She just wants you to get started with it. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Coins, all right? That ultimately is going to lead you towards your Ten of Cups. But specifically, your inner feminine is asking you to start letting go, releasing, and weeding through all of the emotional turmoil that surrounds you that keeps you from reaching your Ten of Cups. But do you know what that takes? In order to reach your true, authentic Ten of Cups, can you guess what that takes? Authenticity. In order to get to that authenticity, you have to slowly but surely let go and start releasing all the pain, all the strife, all the struggle, all of the illusions, all of the fears that are blocking you from this. The happy family, the love of a lifetime, the, the true emotional fulfillment, not the fleeting instant gratification, um, You know what, what else instant gratification it's um what else how else do i want to say this um i mean it's a nine of cups energy uh you know egoic satisfaction fleeting satisfaction satisfaction that's here for like five minutes and then is gone you know that kind of stuff it's not it doesn't last that's not long lasting what you want is this ten of cups energy this that just never runs out of joy to bring you. Well, if you want that, if you're going to connect with that, if you're going to connect with your inner feminine, which is what she brings for you, then you got to get through, get past all of the stuff that's standing in the way. All of the shit that you're holding on to, four of pentacles, holding on to for dear life, potentially for, I don't know, safety reasons, because it's in your comfort zone. Ugh. That's gross. We don't want comfort zone. Well, I mean, okay, we want, sure, you want to be comfortable, but like comfort zone leads to complacency. That's not what we want. We want true, joyful, everlasting love and satisfaction. And in order to get that, you're going to have to push the envelope a little bit. You're going to have to step out of your comfort zone and start exploring yourself the world around you even, right? Okay, but you see, here's the connection between the current surrounding energies of your inner feminine and what, your, what the action steps that you need to take in order to further connect with your inner feminine. The six of wands, because your inner feminine is already in this uh, successful energy. She's already feeling this success. She's already feeling the success of overcoming her obstacles. You can feel that success too. That is what the Six of Wands is saying right here. But in order for you to do that, you have to let go and clear, the, all, clear away all of the stuff that stands in your way from that success and that happy, and happy, happiness and that fulfillment. Okay? All right, cool. So with all of that said, now let's close out the reading here with some oracle guidance 
from your inner divine, from your inner divine feminine, for your inner divine feminine. I don't know. However you want to look at it. Closing message, oracle guidance for, from your inner feminine energies. And you know, you know, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Even though I know there are a lot of individuals that watch this that are femininely oriented, most of my audience, and to be quite honest, most of the audience, the, the Tarot audience here on YouTube are of the feminine nature, whether you're a man or a woman, okay? Um, there are masculines out there. There are men who are masculine energy. There are women who are masculine energy that still watch also, but the majority of you are femininely oriented, energetically speaking, okay? Um, but... This reading very much feels like a conversation from the feminine to the masculine, which makes perfect sense, okay? We're looking at what you can do to connect further with your inner feminine or inner masculine. I don't know why I felt compelled to say that, but I wanted to say that this really does feel like a conversation from the feminine to the masculine, okay? All righty, McFlighty. <laughs> Closing message, oracle guidance. So, oh, 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 that was the other thing. So this oracle guidance is, I heard, in some cases spe specifically um, directed towards the masculine energies. Okay. Oracle guidance, please, spirit. Oracle guidance, please. From the feminine to the masculine. For the feminine, even. For your inner feminine. However it resonates with you, just go right ahead and take it. Okay, this is a general reading. But here we go. Ooh, 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 there she is. Card number 22, Free Spirit. And it's so crazy because me personally, I have been seeing 222 all over the place and 22, all right? Card number two is of balance. The, I'm sorry, not card number two. The number two is that of balance. It's the feminine energy. It's of cooperation. Um, um, And 22 is a master number. 22 is the, the master builder number, yes? But this goes directly hand in hand with what the feminine is saying, is suggesting that the action steps that you take in order to help connect with her, it also goes hand in hand with exactly what the feminine energy stands for. Individuality, authenticity, and freedom. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, let's read this. Okay. Free spirit. In a reading, this card says, when we have an active imagination, we can forget to use it for dreams and instead let it create nightmares. There's something that you've been worrying about. There's no need to torment yourself. Let go of any thoughts, attitudes, or beliefs that are based in fear. They are not helpful, necessary, or accurate. Everything has a positive and loving purpose, even if we cannot see or know what it is straight away. You'll find a loving solution comes to you easily and at the perfect time as you choose to avoid fearful thinking. Let yourself be free to feel positive about your future and know that everything is going to be okay. The feminine was saying that with the sun right here, okay? The guidance from this card says, we can create cages around our mind to keep us from taking risks that might expose us to rejection, embarrassment, or failure. We can forget that if we do experience those things, they are temporary and they help us conquer our fears. We actually become happier through that process. We are able to, to enjoy the full and exciting version of life meant for us. We embrace more opportunities. Magical things can happen. We discover that life can be all that we dreamed of and more. The free spirit within you needs permission to express herself. 
to go after what she wants, to try new things, to make art, to express love, to use her voice without having to be perfect, without having to be, un without having to be certain of how it is all going to turn out. Give yourself permission to make mistakes and figure out what you are doing as you go. Sometimes it's, mis it's when things don't work out the way we thought or hoped that we can learn the most. It's not a punishment. It's not a sign that you were stupid or should have done something differently. It's just life doing what life does, giving us a chance to grow by learning from what happens. Control and doubt will hold your spirit in chains when really, if you let her fly free, she'll show you an amazing world and, and, and an amazing you. There is a sacred re uh, ritual attached to this and it says, Open your arms wide to the, even, to the heavens as if they were wings. Express yourself through your wings for a moment. Say a big yes to the universe now, using your voice, using your wings, using your soul. Let your spirit be free. All right, guys, so there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into connecting with your own inner feminine energies, please don't hesitate to email me. My email is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you have a great day and I look forward to connecting with you again real soon. Yeah, take care. Bye.